In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, God's good people, and welcome. It is another day in your company. Today is Wednesday, the 28th of October, 2020. The church celebrates the feast of Saints Simon and Jude, apostles. You are listening to Catholic Meditation over Radio Evangelium of the Diocese of Kumba. Good morning and thanks for being there. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, grant graciously through the intercession of Saints Simon and Jude that the church may constantly grow by increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 19 to 22. The Gospel from St. Luke, chapter 6, verses 12 to 19. I read from the first reading. Brethren, You are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone, in whom the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are built into it for a dwelling place of God In the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God's house is for all. Do not push others away. God's house is for all. Do not push others away. Today, dear friends in Christ, the church celebrates the feast of two apostles, St. Simon and St. Jude. Their names always appear together in scripture when the names of the twelve apostles are mentioned. Confer Mark chapter 3 verse 14. And in the first Eucharistic prayer in the Roman Missal, their names also appear together. They both share the same feast day. And the reason possibly could be because they both preached the gospel in Mesopotamia and Persia. However, not much is written or known about them. St. Simon belonged to a group known as the Zealots. So he was often called Simon the Zealot to differentiate him from Simon Peter. Zealots were an ancient Jewish sect and a political movement resisting Roman rule. They had zeal for their Jewish nationalism, customs, religion, and tradition and could kill because of that zeal. Therefore, they were called zealots. 
He is the patron of so men. Saint Jude is also known as Jude Thaddeus or Judas. He is also different from Judas Iscariot. He is the patron of desperate situations. In our parishes and churches, there is the Saint Jude Society that promotes veneration to him. In today's first reading, dear friends, St. Paul, writing to the Ephesians, says, We are no longer aliens or foreigners or strangers or sojourners, but citizens with the holy people of God. We are part of God's household. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 19. St. Paul was addressing himself to the church of Ephesus because there were divisions between the Jews and the newly converts. There was this disparity because the Jews wanted to impose harsh measures on the new converts, almost pushing them away. They thought salvation or the good news, or perhaps even heaven, was their birthright because Jesus came only for them. After all, he was a Jew, their countryman. According to the Jews, therefore, they had already been saved and so they tried to push away non-Jews. They were more human than others, perhaps so they thought, or came from a pure race. When it came to salvation, they thought they were high-class citizens and the rest were slaves and second-class citizens. No wonder, they instituted very strict laws like the law of circumcision for non-Jews who became converts. St. Paul therefore writes to address this situation. Look, he told them, Gentiles or pagans and Jews, we are all the same so long as we come under the banner of children of God. When it comes to God, there is no freeborn or slave, no foreigner or citizen. We are all equal and co-heirs. It is said, the church is a church made up of saints and sinners. That is, if at all, there are saints. We are all sinners, beloved, making the effort daily. Why do you think you are more righteous and can get into the church and we want to push others away? After all, Jesus came for sinners, didn't he? The Jews had to accept the Gentiles who had received the good news. They are also members, citizens and form union of that one temple, the house of God. No one is an alien. No one should be excluded or seen as a stranger or foreigner. We all were restored and redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. He did not die only for the Jews. He did not die only for you. He died for us all and shed his blood for the redemption of all of humankind. No distinction. In verse 20, St. Paul says, This one house or temple where we belong is built on the foundations of the apostles and prophets and Christ Jesus himself is the cornerstone. The church has four marks. It is one. It is holy. It is Catholic. And it is apostolic. Catholic means it is universal. It is all-embracing. And apostolicity means the church is founded on apostolic teachings and traditions. The church we have was founded by Christ. And the faith was brought to us by the different apostles through their missionary activity. The church is built on them. That explains why we always celebrate them. In today's liturgy, the Gloria would be sung because we are who we are and where we are thanks to apostolic teachings and apostolic missionary work. In celebrating today's feast then, let us ask ourselves, how do we treat others in our churches? This is very important, beloved. Because there are some of us who think we are more deserving of the church than others. We think we are more deserving of God's graces than others. And there is that temptation to push others away from church. Sometimes we sit in church and we wonder why such and such a person is in church. It is a great temptation. That means we are making ourselves like the Jews who felt God was their private reserve. How do you treat others in our church groups, in society, in our cities, in our associations, in our countries? in our offices, in class, at school? Do we make distinctions? Do we feel we are more elite than others? 
Do we see ourselves as high class citizens and others as low class? Some of us may even see ourselves as being more human than others. That is, higher human beings or human beings while others are animals. No wonder some can easily take away life without any thought. We attempted to bring our social class distinctions into God's house. The elite and the peasants. Beloved, stop all class distinctions. Do not alienate others or push them away. Do not think yourself more human than others. If we see ourselves as human, then we shall treasure human life. No wonder we kill fellow human beings as though we kill flies. How many times are we tempted to push others away? Perhaps because they are public sinners or because we think they are not as educated as we are or do not belong to the same social class or circles as we. Sometimes, in very subtle ways, even in church, we are tempted to deny others not to sit next to us. We push them away to other seats. How many times do we deny others from joining our groups? Beloved, there is none of us who is more citizen than others. There is none of us who is more deserving of God's grace than others. There is none of us who is more deserving of God's house than others. As you are a citizen, so too they are. Do not look at others to be more sinners than you. There is no alien, no foreigner, no stranger in God's house. It is the land of all. It belongs to all. Jesus did not shed more blood for you than he did for others. Finally, do not feel a stranger or alienated if others want to make you feel so. Assert yourself, dear friend. You are a bona fide member of God's house. Assert yourself and take any seat or position of your choice. God's house is your house too. In Christ, there is no Jew or Gentile, no freeborn or slave, no alien or foreigner or citizen, no educated or uneducated. We are all the same. Through the intercession of saints Simon and Jude, may we feel belonged and at home at the house of God as bona fide citizens that has the apostles as foundation stones and Christ Jesus himself the cornerstone. Happy feast day to all who go by the names Simon and Jude, to all parishes and institutions and to members of the St. Jude Society. God bless you all. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen. <laughs>